is time to cook like candy. And today, guys, I am making a corned beef mm -hmm, and cabbage. And I'm going to use some red potatoes, some garlic, and some onion. I will, of course, season this, and I will show you my seasonings as I go. But I've definitely been in the mood for some corned beef and cabbage. And, um, yeah, I'm about to make it. My ingredients, I have a corned beef brisket that I bought from the grocery store. Um, a whole head of cabbage, onion, red potatoes, and some garlic. These are the only vegetables I'm going to use. Feel free to use what you want. And I'm going to cook this. I'm going to braise it on top of the stove first, and then I'm going to put it in the oven. I could do the slow cooker, but I don't feel like it. I want it to be a better slice cut, if that makes sense. So what we have here is some uh, red potatoes that I skimped. Probably left a little skin on something. Um, I did some chopped up garlic cloves and some onions, and I'm going to leave this at the bottom of my pan when I bake. Um, I'm waiting on Ty to come so she can record because I broke my thingamajig, so I got to get another one. Whoever loves me, it's one of the things that clamps on here and I get to attach my phone to it. I'll show you. If you love me, why don't you just buy me this? Because I don't want to buy another one. It's a uh, clamp right here. It broke. See that? I'm going to try to glue it. But in the meantime, in between time, now I really need a video person, so... Ty is eating. When she's done eating, she's going to uh, jump in and join me. So stay tuned. So I have my corned beef right here. And you got the back fat that has a whole lot of fat. We don't eat that. So I am going to use this is the proper knife for everybody who got on me the other day. I have the utensils, guys. I'm just not a chef, and I'm going to keep saying that. I just know how to cook. And um, I think my other knife was better anyway. But anyway, I am going to shave most of the fat. Not all of the fat, because some of the fat is going to melt down to juice. But I'm going to shave most of this fat off of here. Because I don't want it. And I don't want it to break into my corned beef. So I dropped some onions in my cast iron. And I'm about to sear my corned beef right here. But I'm going to hit it with some, this was some of this, um, it's just like cracked back pepper, some steak season. It don't have to go on there, but if I'm going to sear anything, I want to sear it right. So I'm going to take this and set that bad boy face down. And then I'm going to hit the back side of this. Same hand, no cross contamination. I'm going to let this sear for a couple of minutes on each side to get myself a nice little um, brown. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to take these peppercorn things that came in the corned beef this season, and I'm gonna drop it in there. I'll use white wine vinegar. And I will hit this with this. And right about there. How much was that, Ty? I don't know. And then I'm going to mix a little brown sugar in here and some Worcestershire sauce or whatever that sauce is. And um, I'm mint blended. All right. Flip it over. Flip it on the other side. Just for a couple of minutes. Only for a couple of minutes. I just need it to get seared. It helps with the cooking process a lot when you sear it up first. But it also gives us that crispiness that we, we really want. Not crispy, but it's it's something special about searing your meat. I, I can't explain. I think it's ready to come out. What about you? Yeah. All right, I'm going to lay this bad boy that side down because I want all the smoke I'm going to set it in between my potatoes I'm going to take my sauce mixture and part in just to steam up these onions and that's the little sauce mixture that I had get that a little hot real quick it smells really good mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Like flavors on flavors on flavors. Yes, honey. That's gonna simmer up for just a second so they can blend. Cause I like everybody to become cousins and family members. some foil my oven is on 355 i will put it in the oven and i will let it bake on no air foil is going to be super tight on it and it's going to bake for three hours and then it should be done and it should be perfect what you think ty yes sir ma'am okay so i have my corned beef in the oven and it's been in the oven for about three hours so now it's time for me to make my cabbage you can slice your cabbage however you choose i don't like mine to be really big leaves but i also don't like it to be shredded so i just slice my leaves like this so once i slice through this i'm going to put it in a bowl give it a really good wash because you know spiders and babies and ants and stuff live in those leaves so we're going to wash those clean and then I will show you how I make my cabbage. So my corned beef is ready. Now it is time for me to do my cabbage. I could have cooked the cabbage in the corned beef, but I don't like that. I like to smother my cabbage on top and I will add the juice from the corned beef. So I'm gonna start off with some oil and I have my rinsed cabbage right here. And I'm just gonna add all of the cabbage to my oil. Just like that. So I got the cabbage on and it is cooking. I'm gonna drizzle some more oil on it, just a little. And then I am going to reduce this heat to low, drop some seasoning on it, and it has to complement, of course it has to complement my um, corned beef. So I'm gonna hit this with some paprika. Mainly for the color, no real point for it. I'm going to do it with some black pepper. And then I'm going to hit it with some salt. So I ran out of some onions. So I'm going to use these red onions that i got today when i was making some tacos for dinner because this is tomorrow's dinner what i'm cooking now i'm going to cover this and let this smother once it smothers down where it starts to shrink i'm going to then add some of the juice from my corned beef and let it cook all in that juice it's only going to take this a good 15 minutes to cook down i'll do an additional 10 15 minutes with the corned beef and that is it so I'm not a fan of minced garlic because I love fresh garlic. But because I've already started cooking this, I'm going to hit this with some minced garlic. Get it up in there. And then it's not green anything if it don't have green seasoning in it. So I'm going to hit this with some green seasoning. I'm leaving all the salt out. The salt will come from the juice from my corned beef because I have to marry the two. They're getting married. So, I'm going to let this smother for real this time. I don't have to add anything else. I will clean up my mess, and I will be back to show y'all what happens next. And here is my corned beef, y'all. I sliced a piece of this thing, and boy, oh boy. So, I'm going to slice through this. It tastes so good, all of it. And again, once my cabbage cooks down, I will use this juice to become acquainted with that cabbage. But when I tell you this corned beef is good, I'm not lying. I'm not gonna lie like that. Okay, so, mm-hmm. Okay, so my cabbage has sweat, sweated down some, exactly how I want it. But now I wanna transform this flavor of this cabbage just a tad bit. I mean, it's still gonna taste like cabbage. I want to mix it and get all those flavors together. But before it's all the way cooked, I am going to use this juice from this corned beef. And I'm going to apply the pressure just like that. 
all the pressure applied. Apply that pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and, yep, mix that in. And now, once that starts to boil, the cabbage will now start to absorb those flavors from that juice. And it's not gonna take no time for this cabbage to be ready, but I promise it's gonna be good. Okay, guys, I did not just leave it as is. I added a hint of apple cider vinegar, because it was bland since I didn't add any salt and I didn't smother it normally. And then I added a splash of my little oregano basil mix and um, a little salt. And it's great now, everything is all good. So I don't want you to copy me and then be like, why does mine taste bland? Let me tell you what I added to make mine pop. Um, if I would have had some lemon juice, I would have used that too, because I like to add lemon juice to my cabbage. Just a, a, a hint of it. Nonetheless, this is done, baby. It is done. You don't ever want to overcook cabbage, but you definitely want it to cook, okay? So I will plate now, even though I'm not going to eat tonight. I'll still show you. I'll still show you my presentation. So I will plate now. Even though I won't eat it tonight, you'll see a presentation, okay? Well, here it is, my corned beef, cabbage and potatoes. Mm-hmm. Bon appetit.